This season, Sports Interactive have opted for a copious amount of small improvements, rather than adding larger, more innovative features. The result is, for the most part, one of the better Football Manager games in recent memory. Head on over to footballmanager.com and you'll be presented with a list of improvements for this year's game. However, in my opinion, the biggest improvement isn't listed here, and it's the match engine. Last year's game was riddled with goals that either originated from crosses or set pieces. I remember I would spend ages tinkering my tactic to prevent crosses, defending wider, man-marking opposition fullbacks and buying more airily suited centre-backs. Nonetheless, goal after goal would develop from these wider positions, and it felt that overall, the match engine was suited towards a few tactics and methods of playing. Not that you won't concede or score from crosses in this year's game, but FM21's match engine is far more balanced and realistic. It now feels like so many more tactics, formations, styles, roles can be utilised, without being forced into a 4-2-3-1 Gengen press. Even with only key highlights on, I can easily recognise the roles my players are performing and my overall style of play. It's honestly one of the first times the match experience has felt like a real match. You'll score and concede goals that truly feel like they could have happened in real life. Altogether, player decisions across the board are much improved, and this year's match engine moves further away from the realm of gaming and more towards a proper real life simulation. It's fantastic, but unfortunately what isn't fantastic is the match they experience around that match engine. FM21's user interface has been slightly changed, in particular when it comes to match day. I understand new UI takes a while to get used to, but FM21's UI is just poorly designed. Gone is the ability to open widgets of information whilst the match is underway, instead that information is only shown to you when there are no highlights. Across the board it's harder to take in information such as player performance, body language and the state of the opposition team. I'm okay with improvements, but FM20's UI surrounding the matchday experience was perfect, and this is simply a downgrade. This isn't helped when one entire section of my screen is devoted to advice from my assistant manager. Not only is some of this advice useless, it's also presented horribly. I mean, how am I supposed to use this information? With the new match day experience comes a new feature, XG. This is something that I've always wanted Sports Interactive to implement, and it's great to have it in this year's game. To explain it briefly, XG is a measurement of how likely a player was to score based on a number of factors. 1v1s will have a higher XG than long shots, for example. It's such a useful metric as it truly tells you both defensively and offensively how effective your tactic is. We've all had matches where the result perhaps didn't represent the balance of play, and XG now provides the information to accurately show that balance of play. This is presented to you both mid-game and post-game with a post-match analysis email which has been improved on last year. Now there are graphs to show you how leaky your defence is or how clinical your strikers are compared to the rest of the league. One of my favourite additions for this year's game is the new recruitment meetings. These days recruiting players doesn't simply come down to the manager or a single scout. A number of staff members will meet to discuss their plans for the upcoming window and potential areas to strengthen. As a Liverpool fan I know my squad inside out, the positions we are strong in and the areas to improve and Football Manager represented this brilliantly, suggesting positions that I should look to strengthen. This will be particularly useful when you take over a team and have little knowledge of the current squad. Interactions this year now have an added layer of depth with new gestures to help you further immerse yourself in the experience. There are new options with regards to player interactions and press conferences. And although these interactions naturally get repetitive over time, it's definitely a better experience than previous entries. COVID-19 has been for the most part accurately implemented into the game. Transfer budgets and finances across the board have been decreased, and there's a new schedule for your first season. The downside to this is that perhaps the same care 
hasn't been applied to the database. I understand with COVID and a condensed season it's harder to gauge ability and potential, but it feels like many players have been overlooked in terms of attribute improvements, and some players have been lucky to keep certain attributes so high. I know that these get updated in the future, but it's slightly disappointing as the realistic database is something that Football Manager prides itself on. Across the board there are various small additions and improvements that Sports Interactive have made for this year's game. My favourite of these is that you can now ask an agent's player about that player's availability. This saves so much time as you don't have to wait a week for your scout to figure out that that player will only sign for an estimated £80 million. Fitness has been simplified to an icon rather than percentage value, which is a more realistic representation of real life, with match sharpness taking a similar approach. There are now animations for each role to help you understand what they do on the pitch. There's a new pre-match screen with team sheets and fan opinions, though some of these opinions are questionable to say the least. And there's a new graphic for penalty shootouts, along with a better representation of player pressure. Overall, Football Manager 2021 is a much better game than its predecessor. With a more realistic match engine, the introduction of XG, recruitment meetings and better interactions, FM21 has a lot to offer new fans and the loyal and devoted community who sink hundreds of hours into its addictive gameplay every year. The game is let down by its poor UI and slightly inaccurate database, but with the Steam Workshop these are problems that the community will get around to addressing in the near future. Whilst it's not quite a brilliant title, FM21 is extremely close, and one that I would highly recommend to anyone if the aforementioned problems can be fixed by its amazing community. As ever, if there are any upcoming games you'd also like me to review, please let me know.